to want to make us weak. Why would I want to learn politics? Why would I want to learn economics? Why would I learn anything about technology so I can create weapons to protect? You see, yeah, you know what? You should hit up Brother Lahab. Brother Lahab, Brother Lahab said that he don't need spiritual power as long as you can get to his weapons. So you should be hearing Brother Lahab up there, man. And when you read the Bible, the scriptures say Esau got blessed with the sword, man. You're not being Esau with his weapons, man. Myself, yeah. Why would that even matter? My nigga, 200 million people coming out the sky. Job done. I ain't got to fight nobody. No, nuclear missiles are coming from Russia. Intercontinental ballistic missiles are coming from Russia to destroy America. You see how that works? Y'all don't want Look this. Back. Why y'all wake up this sleeping giant? I'm looking to my mind. I don't want to deal with this chaos. I've established you people are nuts that believe in that crap. It's garbage. And you know why I can say that? Because every day I ain't get struck by lightning yet. You know, every day I ask God to strike me by lightning. I ask him every day, please strike me with lightning and prove me wrong so I can become a believer. Oh, you should have. You should be you should be scared that the most high ain't strike you with lightning yet. Man. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That, that's mercy to get hit with lightning. You die right away. Yeah. Hopefully you die right away. Yeah. You should you should you should be scared that he ain't did that. If you waking up asking for that every day and the most high ain't done it to you yet, that means he got something greater than you got something for greater lightning ass, for your ass, man. We don't know what it is. It's gonna be you gonna wish you got hit with a thousand <laughs> lightning strikes. My God. Yes, I should. Because I'm trying to show you. He ain't gonna strike me with lightning. He's gonna make my life better than your fucking life. Every single day, I guarantee it, it's better than yours. My life is better than yours, you sick bastards. I guarantee it. Guarantee it. You keep wishing hate on me, and I keep making sure I become more and more successful. Just like the Pharaoh, man. Mm-hmm. Hey, man, you, you you might be the spiritual uh, uh, house of Saul, man. Yeah. What, 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 what did the most high? He said the house of Saul got worse and worse, and the house of David got stronger and stronger. And we at the time of the Passover right now, man. Right now we're in the midst of the Passover and, not, and and he's coming out talking all this gibberish shit, man. And nigga, we're not discouraged because your life is better than us, man. We the scriptures say he that hateth his life shall find it, and he that lo- uh, 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 um, um, uh, love his life shall lose it, man. We're not mad at y'all. Oh, you gotta no, man. Hey man, the spirit, the power of Yahweh, Bashimi, Yahushua, us brothers back here, man. We, we don't we we don't care about this lifestyle, Fuck man. This, life. ain't, this ain't living. This ain't living, man. This ain't fucking living, man. We we need to get up out of here. We need a savior. That's why we believe on Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, man. We need a deliverer. That's why his name is a Nomen Omen, man. That deliverer. To deliver us out of what? Our captivity, our hell. This ain't living, man. This ain't living. When you got to wake up and you see her. That means you're comfortable with homosexuality. You're hey, didn't he com- have a cop bang him his head up uh, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the cop car? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you love this lifestyle, though, right? Come on, man. You got to wake up. Your kids got to watch transgenders and homosexuality when they wake up. How is this even life? You, we're going to hate your life. Nah, you, you. Hey, man, we ain't hating on you. We don't care about you, man. Like the brother said, this is for edification's sake, man. This is for edification's sake, man. Yeah, All right? Firstly, we're going against the, the spirit of Egypt. That's right. <laughs> the Lord is against that Egypt. Egypt BS, you, you coming in. That spirit, you coming in, man. You love your life. And that's what the Israelites back then with, with Moses, right? When you read the history, oh, we want to go back into Egypt, man. Well, the Lord going to leave you here, man, since you love the Egypt life so much, man. Yeah, the scriptures say a pressure maker of a wise man mad. That's right. You know what's crazy? Your life. Yeah, you could say that. Like the brother said, man, he that he that um, lose of his life shall gain it. He that gain of his life shall lose it. Hey, that's the balance. And hey, that's another key that you're not, you're not, uh, Part of uh, his elect, because you see, oppression make of a wise man mad. That's right. So we're mad as fucking hell. In the house of David, we're mad. Uh, uh, First Samuel was twenty-two. David therefore departed thence and escaped to the cave Adullam, and and it, when his brethren and all his father's house heard heard it, they went down there thither to him. And everyone that was in distress, and everyone that was in debt, obviously he's not in debt, but he's not in distress. That's right. Yeah. And everyone that was discontented. Not happy, depressed, gathered themselves onto him, and he became a captain over them. And there were with him about four hundred men. So you're definitely part of it. not not about that. You're not about you're not a part of the house of David, man. But you have to die. And David went thence to Mizpah of Moab, and he said unto the king of Moab, "Let my father, and my mother, and I pray thee, come forth and be with you, till I know what Yahweh will do for me." And he brought them before the king of Moab, and they dwelt with them all the while that David was in the hole. 
Hey, man, that's heavy because the script, mainly the main point, discontent, disenchanted, in debt. And scriptures go into Amos, was it Amos 9? It tells you he's going to rebuild the tabernacle of David as in the days of old, man. So you're not part of that house. And yeah, and King David, man, you know, he that that's a that's a hell of a life to live. Just being a warrior your whole life, man, fighting for Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Being be you know, that was a hell of a David couldn't even enter into the kingdom of heaven because he had so much bloodshed on his hands, man. And he said in debt, they were discontent. Yeah. They was vexed in the spirit. That's so he, he's he, life, he's man. not in debt. He's not discontent. He's not disenchanted. That's so he's how, definitely not part of the that elect, that circle. That's how you know, Lord willing, we are the elect of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua. We might be the house of David because we're fighting every day spiritually, man. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, we fighting against the, the spiritually, we fighting against uh, uh everybody King David fight against. Uh, uh uh heathens and stuff like that, our own people, man. Mm -hmm. We fighting every day spiritually, man. The the, the 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 spiritual battle is harder than the physical, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's right, man. Hmm. Arise ye for and depart for this is not your rest. That's right. Because I told my family, and they're like, yo, you're going to piss these people off. That's what I got to do. You know why? I told my family I'm going to become so successful that I'm going to relieve the chains of religion off my people's minds. Go. Exodus chapter 4, verse 21. And the Lord said unto Moses, when thou goest to return into Egypt, see that thou do all those wonders before Pharaoh, which I have put in thine hand. That's but I right. will yeah, Go ahead. But I will harden his heart that he shall not let the people go. And the Most High is hardening his heart. The Pharaoh, hey, they found a Pharaoh two days ago. They seen Ramses II. Con. Where the time of the Passover is all spiritual, go ahead. Con. It says, and it says, And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord Israel is my son, even my firstborn. And I will say unto thee, Let my son go, that he may serve me. And if thou refuse to let him go, Behold, I will slay the son, even thy firstborn. Mm, that's the day the, hey, the Passover. So right. the Most High, how about Shem Shah? He's hardening your heart, polite. That's why you're saying you're going to keep talking shit. You're going to keep doing your thing. The Most High is hardening your heart. The scriptures say what it is in Isaiah 20 or 29. He put a spirit of deep sleep on you. It says, and it says, and it came to pass by the way in the end that the Lord met him and sought to kill him. Them. Yeah, come, man. So, you know, like the brother was saying, the firstborn, you know what I'm saying? The, the Lord, the Lord, polite man, and you coming in that spirit, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you coming in that Egyptology spirit, man. The Lord going to send plagues upon America, man. And they're coming for you, man. Since you love Egypt so much, since you since you like the spiritual Egypt, which is America, the Lord is going to come after you, man. He's going to kill you. Like you said, you wish you, you got struck by lightning. That's an easy death, man. Your heart... When 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 you when you have a heart attack or your heart stops beating, what do they do? They they shock you with a, 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 a electric pulse, man, to revive you, man. That's that's easy, man. To the Lord to stop your heart with electricity, man. But the Lord got something for you, man. Them plagues that's coming upon America, you know what I'm saying? The Lord got something for you, man. So you better be careful talking about that, man. All right, because if the Lord ain't struck strike your ass down yet, uh, man. don't be careful because he's not gonna be careful. The Lord yeah, harden yeah. his heart. Yeah, come. He's supposed to be like that. You're like the spiritual Pharaoh, man. Come really, that Pharaoh, the Pharaoh is really the Rothschilds now. But looking at it in the spirit and what's going on, and we're in the midst of the Passover. Hey, man, the Lord's hardening your heart, and you're like that. You're like the spiritual Goliath, man. Because you with that Kemet shit, you're supposed to be like the top dude in that house of consciousness shit. That Kemet shit. So in the spirit, you that. You that glad you that uh warrior Goliath, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. That's really what it is, man, spiritually. But the most high destroyed the Egyptian, he's gonna destroy Goliath, he's gonna destroy you other heathen nations, man. What you're an Israelite, you're from that flesh, you're from Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, but your mind state, you're in a Hermetic mindset, man. Yeah, your mind Gentile. state, you're a Gentile, yeah. So in the spirit, you're Goliath, man. The most high gonna kill all the ancient Egyptians, man. That's right. Please, so fucking hard. And become so successful at the same time that I'm gonna wake people up. That's my goal. My goal is to mock God as much as I can. Damn, Pharaoh. <laughs> Pharaoh. Hold on, let me get there. I got it. And be extremely there. successful while doing it, without doing anything debaucherous, without doing any blood shedding and Illuminati sacrifices and all this make believe bullshit people there. believe in. Galatians chapter uh, 6, verse 7. Be not deceived. The most God, high is, is not mocked. mocked. <laughs> For whatsoever a man soweth, 
that shall he also reap. That's right, man. Your judgment's coming, man. <laughs> Lord is not mocked. We do the old fashioned way. But I'm going to show you that, you know what? A black man can't be successful because of his own intelligence, his own intuition, and his own zeal to study. And if Marcus Garvey was religious, Mosul Elijah Muhammad was religious, Dr. King was religious. <clears throat> We love all of them. It was different religions. We love all of them. We love all 